Okay, so, once upon a time, there was a little girl named Joey. Sweetie, I don't have time to... I have a friend of mine who would love to come and visit you. There he is. It's Mr. Persnickety. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, I tell you what. You draw, and when you want to eat, you try to eat a little bit for me later, okay? You promise? Okay. off like that? Well, I... No more excuses. Hop into bed with you. Wait just a minute. Here? Yes, here. But this is the children's ward. There are too many kids here. No offense, kid. Well, the doctor has placed orders for you to be on closer supervision, so we will just have to deal with this for now. Won't we? I will not. The... Cliff, I'm not saying I think it's a good idea for you to be moved around all the time. If you just do this for me now, let me get you into that bed, and I promise, as soon as I can, I will get you transferred to the adult ward. At least tell me about the neighborhood. Is it good real estate? Who's this little ruffian here? That's Joey. She goes to bed every night on time. And I've never heard her say a word. Well, that's not natural. But it is quiet. I do like my quiet. All right, you've convinced me. Oh. Okay, there you go. All right, Libby, on three. One, two, three. Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you snore? Well, I do.
yours? Jensen. Cliff, please. Cliff, I've never had to say this to an adult before. Well, spit it out. You can't use the paints anymore. Any situation like this again, and the doctors will have you removed. Can Joey still use the paints? I'm afraid not. How about the 
crayons. All right, the crayons are okay, but only if you behave yourself. We'll be good. Promise, right, Joey? <laughs> Joey, where did you start eating? Can't sleep? Me neither. Awful, isn't it? You know what I used to do before I came in here, Joey? I used to write children's books. Nobody wants to hear my stories anymore. Would you like to hear a story, Joey? I have one just for you. you want to hear it? Okay. And you can help with the pictures. Once upon a time, there was a king who lived all alone in his castle. I am a very lonely king, despite the fact that I always sing. And though my kingdom's very large, I am a very lonely king. His only friend was a purple emu. But you don't know what an emu is? Ah. How about a dog? Can the king have a pet dog? Okay. Why don't you draw me a dog then? Would you want to make it smaller? Okay. The king had a giant yellow dog. And every day, he would ride it through the castle. Up and down and back and forth, I'll ride my yellow dog. In and out and round and round, I'll ride my yellow dog. Through the kitchen, into the bathroom, on my yellow dog. Over, under, here and there and back again and everywhere. I'll ride my yellow dog. Until one day, when he noticed something in the window. What else is growing out of my window? Whistle my mind. 
Lined up to try to guess the song the king was thinking of. They whistle fast songs, slow songs, marches, mazurkas, songs they had heard from their mothers, songs they had learned from their grandmothers. One by one, the people vanished, and only the servant girl remained. And she whistled this tune. You have to do it like this. Take a deep breath and blow. And the girl was happy. Because she had made the king happy, and the king was happy because he had a friend. They all lived happily ever after. The end. So many years to finally hear that tune. My mother used to sing to me. Brings me a feeling I'm falling asleep. 